Yo, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can implement this nice sliding button into your apps using Flutter. And to unlock the phone, I just take my finger and slide it across. All right, you want to see that again? Go to sleep. Now, just before we start, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Rotato. I'm sure you have all seen in all of my intros, I love using Rotato to showcase my work. Especially as an app developer, this is a must have if you want to show your work in a professional manner. I'll link it below, so make sure to check them out. But without further ado, let's do this. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project, but just to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I'm just running my app, which brings us to this home page. And this home page is just a stateful widget returning a blank scaffold. So it should just be a blank white app like this. And the first thing to do is let's go to our pubspec.yaml and under the dependencies, I'm going to add this one. So slide to act. And this is just the latest version as of today. So save it. And let's close this once that's finished. And let's just get rid of all this and go to the home page. So inside the scaffold, in the body, let's just create it right in the center. And you can start typing slide action. And you can see it's going to auto import it for us. So make sure this is at the top. And without doing any customization, let's just save this and see what it looks like. So this is the default button and it looks like we can drag this around. So first of all, you can see like once I get to the end, it doesn't actually do anything. So the very important property here you got to fill out is the submitted. So on submit, for now, I'm just going to do this and execute nothing. But this is where you can put in your method. So without even filling this out, just having an on submit button will allow us to slide and it sort of executes and finishes it off. Okay, so this is where you could uh, navigate to a different page or like slide to pay and make the payment go through. So whatever your app does, this is where you would put the method in. But in terms of the customization to make this look a little prettier, Let's play around with it. So the first thing I want to do is it's like stuck to the sides too closely. So I'm just going to add some padding. And this roundness looks pretty good, but I tend to like a kind of more sharper edge, but it's still rounded off the corners. So you guys can control the border radius. And if you actually look at the elevation, you can see there's a bit of a shadow there, which for me, I actually don't like having any elevation. So I'm just going to say zero. So let's just stuck onto the flat design on the bottom. And let's just play around with some colors. So the important colors you want to play around with is the inner color. So let's say deep purple. And the other one is the outer color. So just to see what this is controlling, I'm just going to put a jarring red. Okay, so that's the thing at the back. So from here, it's kind of obviously up to your preference on how you want this to look. But you guys all know I love my deep purple. So let's try to make this look nice with a deep purple color. And you guys can change deep purple to whatever color you like. So let's say I've got a background like this, and then something like this. This is looking a lot better. And by the way, at this point, we should also mention this icon. It's an arrow, but of course you can change this. You can see here the slider button icon. Okay, and this wants a widget, so you could put anything in here. So let's say, for example, like unlock. And so you can change the icon there. 
And for this icon, I want to make it like white. And this slide to act is the default text. So same as this, I'm just going to put a const here. You can change the text from the default, right? So it's just requiring a string. So let's say slide to unlock. Okay, so you can put any text widget in there. And after playing around with this, this inner color and outer color um, controls the slide to unlock as well as this button color. But if you want some further customization, you can actually use a text style to change the font and the color of the actual text, right? So what I like to do is to make this white. And let's make it a bit bigger. Right, so this looks pretty good. And I think you notice like this icon goes upside down, which is a cool effect. But if you don't want that, there's this slider rotate. And it's currently true, so I can say that's false. And this thing will not rotate anymore. So just some further customization you can do. So you can see how easy it is to import this slide action package and play around with the different properties here, like the colors and, and how it looks and stuff like that. And the important thing, like I said, outside of the aesthetic is you have to have this on submit function, right? So here, as I said before, this is where you want to do something, right? So whether it's unlocking the phone or like unlocking to a different page, you can actually say something else like slide to pay, beam, if you guys have heard of that app where you pay your friends, you, they have this as well in the app, like slide to pay. So just keep that in mind. All of this is just for looks and to make it look nice. And this on submit is the, is the actual method you're going to have to fill out in terms of whatever your app wants to do when you unlock this. So hopefully that was easy to understand. Play around with it and let me know if you have any issues. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.